assalamu alaikum dear students welcome to your maths in today's lecture we will study about functions uh, in question uh, <coughs> in this question we have given with f of x is equals to 2x square plus 7x plus 4 and g of x is equals to 2x plus 6 uh, first of all we have to find out the value of f of minus 3 it means let's suppose we, we are comparing this f of x with this f of minus 3 look f is equals to f this is also f this is also f it means function is equals to function it means this is x and this is minus 3. In this case, x is representing minus 3. It means f of x is equal to 2x square plus 7x plus 4. And f of minus 3 is equal to, you have to find out the value, okay? It means you just have to replace x by minus 3. In this case, the value of x is minus 3. Just replace x by minus 3. We are going to replace it. So, f of we have to find out the value of f of minus 3. So, f of minus 3 is equal to just replace x by minus 3. Okay. Just write 2 as it is. And the value of x is minus 3 square plus 7 as it is. The value of x is minus 3 plus 4. Okay. Look. Now, we are going to find out the value of f of minus 3. f of minus 3 is equal to just write 2 as it is. Uh, here you have to uh, understand a few uh, understand few concept look whenever you have negative with the base and you have power even number whenever you have negative sign with the base and you have even number on power your answer always be in the form of positive look at this minus 3 square how you can write minus 3 square minus 3 multiply by minus 3 Minus 3 square means you have to multiply minus 3 two times. Okay. Whenever you have negative sign with the base and you have even numbers on the power, your answer would always be positive. Look, minus 3 minus 3 minus minus plus. Look, your answer is positive. And whenever you have negative sign with the base and your power is an odd number, your answer would always be in negative form. Look, minus 3 q means you just have to multiply minus 3 three times. Minus 3 times minus 3 times minus 3. Minus minus plus plus minus minus. Look, your answer is in the form of negative. Okay. Just remember this point. Look. Minus 3 square. So what's the square of negative number? Square of negative number is always positive. And the square of 3 is 9. Plus minus minus 7 times 3 would be 21 plus 4. So f of minus 3 is equals to. 2 9s are 18, 18 minus 21 plus 4. Now you have to apply the DMAS rule. DMAS rule, it means you have to add first values. So this is 18 and this is 4. 18 also have plus sign, 4 also has plus sign. So 18 plus 4 would be 22. So f of minus 3 is equal to 18 plus 4 would be 22 minus 21. So if you subtract 21 from 22, you will get... 1. It means the value of f of minus 3 is 1. This is how you can find out the value of any function. Okay. Now, in this question, uh, in this part, we have to find out the g inverse of x. This is the function g of x is equal to x plus 6. You just have to find the inverse of this function. Okay. So, there are few points to find the inverse of any function. So, g of x is equal to 2x plus 6. You just have to memorize few steps. So, what is the first step? First step is that you just have to replace the function by y. So, what is the function in this case? In this case, the function is g of x. Just replace g of x by y. We are going to replace g of x by y. So, y is equal to 2x plus 6. This is our first step. Just replace the function with y. What's the second step? Second step is that you just have to interchange the variable x with y. Uh, x with uh, y and x by uh, y by x okay look we are going to interchange the variables interchange y with x and interchange x with y plus 6 okay so this is our second step so what's the third step third step is that you just have to make this y as a subject now we want to make this y a subject so what steps we are going to take to make this y as a subject just shift 6 to the other side Okay, 6 is uh, 6 has a positive sign over there. So if you shift 6 to other side, it would have negative sign. So x minus 6 is equals to 2y. Look, now we want to find out the value of this y. 
So two and y are multiplying with each other. We know that if two numbers don't have any sign between them, one constant and one variable, they always multiply with each other. So two is multiplying over here. If we shift it to other side, it would be divide. So y is equals to x minus six upon two. So what this y is representing? This y is basically representing your inverse. So g inverse of x is x minus six upon two. Okay, this is how you can find out the inverse of the function. Hope this lecture helped you to clear your misconceptions. Take care, Allah Hafiz.